What's up guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how to straighten your architectural images so you can get those nice straight lines. Stay tuned to learn all about it. What's up guys, let's just jump right into Lightroom so I can go ahead and show you. I actually shot this image a couple days back. I'm gonna go ahead and throw one of my presets on there. Really like this one. These are mostly for street photography and if any of you guys are interested, link is in the description. Shameless plug right there. So I actually had a dust bunny. Let me get rid of that real quick because that thing is really ugly. And uh, the magic is going to happen in the transform tab. So all of these options, auto guided level, all of these will transform your image quite differently with different axes, different forms. So I would say play with all of these and see which one works best for your image. Now, when you transform an image, go to auto, you can see it actually literally transforms it. It like warps it so you can get that nice straight line. But the issue is that if you're doing portraits and you try to do this, you're going to end up with some really warped faces and you don't really want to do that. So be careful with that. If your subject is like far in the distance, it shouldn't really affect it. But if they're very up close and you start messing around with these, you'll you'll see it yourself. And you can actually adjust these yourself, like the vertical, how much on the vertical you want it. So honestly, it, it's really, really easy. And the best way to learn this is playing around with it. So if you want like perfect, perfect, that would go with vertical or full. Now you see it gives us this really weird crop into the image because it's like compressing it in order to get those nice lines. So what you got to do from here, say we're going to post on Instagram, I would just go to a vertical four by five because that is the standard. And there you have it. So we went from this photo to this photo. Huge, huge difference on the perspective of the actual building. Now, before somebody gets mad at me, I did not enable the lens correction and I'm going to show you what it will do. So I've already straightened the image, the one we were working on. And if I go ahead and click the enable profile corrections, all it does is it's fixing some vignetting. Now I did forget to do it. Most of the time I do it, but sometimes I actually enjoy the vignetting depending on the look that I'm going for. Of course, if I'm going for a clean look and everything has to look nice, of course, I'm going to click this thing on. But I did forget to do it. But just so you guys know, this will help you out with some lens warping and will help out with the vignetting. It, it, you can see it shows the lens down here. So if your lens does not show right here, typically it's because you had it mounted with an adapter or something like that. Then you just find the lens. It'll fix the preset that the program has for that specific lens. But as you can see, it really didn't do much to the architecture as in compressing or anything that we've already done to the image. Sorry about that. Now that's all I have for you guys today. If you guys learned something, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for future content. Let me know if this was helpful for you. If you guys want to learn more little things like that in Lightroom. I, I mean, I wouldn't mind making more of these. These are pretty, pretty easy and pretty fun. So yeah, let me know. <laughs> See you guys on the next video. So let me know if this was, so let me know if this was helpful. So let me know if this was helpful for you. So, so.